Hello everyone, Ace here, and today we are back with some more Xbox Simulation, courtesy of Zemu, which today just released a brand new build. And today the game we are going to be looking at is a classic on Xbox, although it's really only remembered by Xbox players these days, sadly, and it is Brute Force. This game, like I said, is an Xbox exclusive. Um, didn't really get any sequels, sadly, or anything like that, even though it would have actually been pretty good for that, I think. But it's a squad-based uh, third-person shooter with some tactical elements, although not really a tactical shooter, although some people might claim it is. It really isn't, but I can show you what I'm talking about. So we will do Welcome to the 23rd, which is the mission, which is the first mission in the game, and it is basically a tutorial, but it will show you what to expect. Now we can do four-player co-op, and that's kind of part of the whole point to these games, but to this game anyways, since there's only one, sadly. But anyways. So it used to be that this game had issues with the HUD not showing up and the text not really showing up either. That has been fixed. Also, I've noticed that the performance has improved somewhat, which is why I've bumped it up to three times internal resolution. So it actually looks nicer than it normally would. In fact, to show you the difference... Yeah. A nice little difference if I do say so. We'll skip the tutorial missions. Hold up. That drop is enough to hurt you. I suggest going another route. For what it's worth, the game does actually look significantly better once you Your radar will track the enemy as red and All right, allies so just green. frame rate is taking a little bit of a dip, but it's not terrible, so I know you're here. Pick up their grenades and ammo. They'll come in handy. All right, we'll go ahead and deal with that. Use those rocks and trees for cover and try to get in close enough to take that guy out with a grenade. Pull the left trigger to throw a grenade. Should be a good throw. Got him. Avoid the lava. Now they do have lasers which don't do as much damage, but you do get regenerating ammo, so... I mean, these are technically backups, but I can dual wield them, so... Pick up the mine. For what it's worth, I do actually thoroughly enjoy this game, but I do understand it's not a perfect one. It's also one of the last games to not really make good use of Xbox Live, which for a multiplayer game in 2003 was not a good idea to uh, not have that as a feature, but I digress. Especially as this was made for the Xbox specifically, so it was a weird decision. Wait, did he just say he killed Kenny? I think he just said I he killed Kenny, which is a nice little joke there. Our frame rate did take a little dip there, but that's okay. Alright, so we took out that base. So as you can see, it is in a playable state. And I could boost the, re the frame rate further by just dropping the resolution, but... I like how it looks right now, so... Don't forget that your squad will use ammo and med kits as needed. But they'll always leave the last med kit for you. So yeah, it's not really a tactical shooter much, even though some people have falsely claimed that it is. It's basically just a squad-based shooter with some tactical elements, but it's just, it's far too arcadey for it to be a proper
proper tech tool shooter, so still fun though. Oops. Got him. Bagged him. Now we can go ahead and pick up the rifle that I was using and switch back to it. There is a hotkey to use med packs, although I'm not sure that'll be necessary right now because we are in a good spot and we pretty much have wrecked everything in here except for the dudes in the base itself, so. And that's the end of that mission. Didn't even require to use med kit, which is nice. Alright. So we actually investigated everything, which is lovely, and we get to continue. So I go ahead and actually exit out of here. So as you can see, is the game in a playable state? Short answer, yes. The cutscenes might not be in the best of state, but the actual game itself is running. So, and you can in fact play through missions, which is nice. So yeah, a definite improvement and a definite game that I have been looking forward to seeing actually run on Xbox Simulation. So good work to the developers behind Zemu. But uh, yeah, in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out. Oh.